Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and today I'm excited to share with you this brand new stamp set from Miss Ink Stamps. I've stamped it all out so you could take a look at these bears. This is called Bear Hugs and look at all these great images. You have a cave, you have five bears. One of them is hugging a little bear. Lots of great sentiments. There is also a little mouse. Look at that, <laughs> so cute. Today I'm going to create two cards using all of these images and show you just how fun these are to put together. I've got a few stencils. This one is Starry Night and this one is Sparkles from Missing Stamps and then I have the Floral Wave Offset stencil and I'm going to use all of those today as well. I'm going to start with the background so they can have plenty of time to dry and so I'm starting off with four different shades of blue ink. I'm going to Put this on to my cardstock here with a blending brush. This is one of the large blending brushes. I love these brushes for getting color on quickly. Normally I'll tap off the excess color, but since I was going through all the darker colors as well, I didn't worry so much about it. I just wanted to get that color on. So there's our inked background. I'm going to use the rest of that ink that's on the craft mat. And to do that, I just spritz it with a little water and I take out my watercolor cardstock here and I'm just going to smush it into all of that ink. And what I like to do is smush it on and then dry it and then add some more ink. So I'm going to do this a number of times. So just smushing that in to the ink, drying it off, adding some more ink splots and just continuing on until I get a lot of that ink used up. Now I am going to keep layering on this panel, so this is not done yet. But first let's take that ink blended one and I'm going to add some stars. So I'll take this stencil first and I'm going to add some Distress Oxides in Fossilized Amber to give a nice soft starry effect to that background. So this is a really pretty and kind of subtle, but look at that. I'll dry that off before adding the sparkle. So this stencils, the sparkle stencil. And for this one, I want to add a little silvery shine to the sky. I'm using my glacier paste in the silver and I love this glacier paste. It's one that actually stays a lot longer for me in the Arizona heat. A lot of my paste will dry up very quickly here but this one I've had for a couple of years and I'm still using it. Take a look at all that sparkle. We've got some gold stars, we've got some silver sparkles, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all of my utensils here and then I'm ready to go. So look at that, there's a little close up for you. I'm gonna let that dry fully before I build my card. Going back to the ink splattered watercolor background, I'm using the floral offset wave here and my idea was to kind of make it look like a dreamy night sky, maybe some northern light look to it, just a little bit different than what I normally do. So again, taking some Distress Oxides, I have a Twisted Citron here and I use the, the yellow just ahead of that. I'm going to bring in some blue and some purple as well and just play around. I actually was having a lot of fun, not sure how this was gonna turn out, but one of the rewards of creating is seeing how things will end up. So all those colors here is gonna create a little bit of a dreamy sky, but I'm not done yet. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna let this dry fully. Those oxide inks take a little bit longer to dry. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and color up my images. I'm starting out with the trees. The trees are pretty much the only green on this uh, stamp set. So I wanted to start out with the G09 and the G14 on this tree. And you can see it's a very simple process to add this green. I use the darker green underneath each of the layers of the tree and then blend it out with the G14. So there you go. I'm gonna add another layer of the darker color just because I wanted it to pop a little bit more and then blend that out just the tiniest bit, leaving some of those brush strokes so that you have a little bit of texture also to that tree. 
I wanted to color up my bears kind of like a darker bear. So I'm doing a black slash grizzly bear look, which they turned out darker than I expected. But I started with the E37, E35, and E33. And then for the black bear, I'm doing N9, N7, N5, and N3, and just blending those through. I'm not gonna show you all of the coloring. This was the darkest bear that I did, and then I lightened up the rest of them. This one's kind of like the mama bear, so, <laughs> or the papa bear. And isn't that awesome that those sentiments are in this stamp set? It just makes me smile, it makes me think of my dad. So I love that those sentiments are here. So this one is the darkest, as I said, and while I did this, I thought to add a little bit of texture to the fur, I'm going to add some dots at the end. So you'll see that in just a minute. So here I'm just finishing up that bear and then adding a few dots using those same neutral gray colors and just blending this all through. The bear that this Papa Bear is hugging I did a lot lighter using only the N3 and N5. So you'll see that in a minute. And here's where I'm adding the dots. Now in this video, it was hard to tell. So I just kind of skipped through, but you'll see in the, in the still photos at the end, some of those textures on the bears. For the rocks, I'm using cool grays, starting with the C5 and blending that out with C3 and sometimes blending even with the C1. So I'm getting a little bit of a different color shade on all of the rocks. So that was very, very simple. Finishing out the cave here, I'm going to add some dots and curvy lines to the floor of the cave. And again, I'm using all the cool gray colors for the rocks and the floor here. And there you go, there's our colored images. So let's finish up our backgrounds and then we'll put these cards together. For this background, I wanted some fire in the sky using some Dazzle Dust. This is a beautiful shade of Dazzle Dust. It transitions from greens to blues and I love it. So I'm using a glue pen here just to make some small dots and sprinkling that Dazzle Dust right over the top. And I'm going to do this to the top half of all of the sky, just adding dots and before that dots dry, adding the glitter and shaking off the excess. It's a very simple process and I think it adds a lot of drama to a card. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this off screen, but you'll see in just a minute how that looks in the end and especially when we add all the bears. Here's all the colored images. Aren't they cute? And look, there's a little fire there as well. I'm just gonna arrange these on my cards and add the bears popped up with foam tape. I'll glue the rest on with liquid adhesive and create these cute little bear scenes. I've cut out the sentiments and now I'm going to add those to the card as well. A look at our final cards. The bears are all so sleepy and cute. And look at that little mouse in front of the log. This one says, very thankful for you. And the other says, you make life bearable. I hope you enjoyed this look at the new stamp set, Bear Hugs for Missing Stamps, and a look at the process of making these little scene cards. It was so fun to create these. I've listed and linked all the supplies below in the description box, so you can take a look if you'd like to. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll be back real soon with more card making inspiration. See you then. Bye-bye.